Hey y'all. Uh, so I'm making this video because I found a workaround for something that I wanted to do around the house. Uh, with the new PlayStation 4 update, um, remote play is now possible for iPad and iPhone for the first time. Um, but my question I uh, had was, okay, that's great if you want to get outside the house and play a game, but what if you're in the house and you just want to connect a PlayStation 4 controller um, go to another room, have someone else use the TV while you play a game, right? Um, initially, you can't do that, but there is a workaround. I'll show you the workaround. So, what you need to do uh, first is download the PS4 Remote Play app, and that's all one word. It shows up like this. Open the app. It's going to ask you to sign into an account. Do not sign into your nor normal account. Uh, what I would recommend doing is creating a secondary account. Um, and I can show you here. So I've created a couple of different accounts for folks who play. That's my normal account. It's my secondary account. Create a secondary account. And under your secondary account, um, make sure to go to settings. Go down to uh, remote play connection settings and then go to add a device. It's going to give you this cool little number right here. Now go back to your remote play app, click start. Uh, sometimes it'll search uh, and find it automatically. I usually just do register manually. So I'll put in this number right here. going to register and now it's signed in under a secondary account All right and so I can control everything from my iPad but that's not what I want to do I want to use a PlayStation 4 controller and normally if you do that let's say you click on the controller you sign in under guest, it will automatically kick you out, right? Well, here's the workaround. Connect back in. Boom. You're now on your secondary account, right? Uh, click your PlayStation controller. Sign into your first account. And voila. You can now use this as a second screen. With the controller. And on top of that, I can now use my controller to play a game. You can also use a Bluetooth, uh, you can use Bluetooth headphones for your iPad or iOS device. Or you can also connect it through your controller if you want higher fidelity. Um, and then you can play this game. You can turn your TV off. You can play this game. Away from your TV. Very cool. Yep, now I was trying to find this workaround. Now I get to play any of the games that I want on my normal account. Uh, just remember, you can only do this if you have a secondary account. And basically it's spoofing as a second screen um, connected directly to your PlayStation. Uh, this does not work if you're away from your house. You have to be on your network, you've gotta be in your house, you gotta be close to your PlayStation but um, you don't have to jailbreak anything. And you can now play all the games at your leisure at any other room and share your TV. Um, you can have a secondary account on there, someone else playing another as a second uh, controller on your main TV. And you can just use this as a, just a second screen. 
Um, something that's cool I found and I wanted to share. All right, cool. Bye.